So, what is an RTA and why do you need one to tune your car audio system for optimum performance? That's coming up because we're going to review the new Audio Control SA4100i RTA microphone. So, what is an RTA? An RTA, or real-time analyzer, is a device that measures the strength of a signal across various octaves within a sound spectrum. An RTA microphone allows us to actually measure the acoustic output at each octave. Now, when we're setting up a car audio system, there are various things that affect the output at each frequency. The speakers, for example, will inherently in their design play one frequency slightly louder or quieter than another. The vehicle environment also has a huge impact on output at all these different frequencies. Even when fed the exact same signal, the left side can sound totally different than the right side. We will use an RTA microphone as a tool to correct all of those differences. What we do is use an RTA microphone to determine how we exactly need to adjust an equalizer that is part of our car audio system. By doing so, we make our music sound more crisp and natural as each frequency has a similar output to neighboring frequencies. Additionally, we can use an RTA microphone to make sure that our left side speakers and right side speakers are playing exactly the same. This helps to create a true center image. In other words, what that's going to do is it's going to make it sound like the vocals of the track, if they're recorded to center, are right here, right in front of me. Just like that artist is right on my dash, performing just for me. Additionally, in the recording, if there's an instrument that's recorded intentionally on the left or right side, I'm going to hear that instrument on the left or on the right side. It's going to sound like I'm live, in person, at a concert, and the band is performing right in front of me. Now for years, a proper RTA and microphone is something that's been out of the reach for the normal car audio hobbyist. Audio Control's SA3055 is a legendary unit that works great for tuning car audio systems. Unfortunately though, it is large and it is relatively expensive. Luckily though, Audio Control recently released their SA4100i RTA microphone for those of us that would like to tune our car audio system. This allows us to use an Apple iPhone or iPad as an RTA. Audio Control sent me one of these to use and try out, so let's take a dive into a quick tuning session on Project Rebuild. To use the SA4100i, I first downloaded a free application called Mobile Tools from the App Store. This application will immediately recognize the RTA mic. Now what's awesome about this microphone is that it is calibrated. The app will automatically adopt for that calibration file so you know that you're getting accurate results using this RTA microphone. I started with playing around with the RTA section of the app. I first found that it's very easy to zoom in and out on the graph so you can increase the resolution of your measurement. You can change the mode of the RTA for full or third octave measurements. It's helpful to have this selection in case you're using a 7 band rather than a 30 band equalizer. A major feature that is helpful for tuning is you can save a snapshot of the RTA response. This could allow you to compare speakers from left to right, or you could use it as documentation for tuning different cars. Now while we have the RTA screen open, we can also use the built-in signal generator. By connecting an auxiliary input from our phone to our system, we can play pink noise which is used for tuning an RTA. We can also play specific frequencies, and we can run sweeps. The application will also allow us to set a decay time for fast or slow measurements. The built-in FFT or Fast Foyer Transform Analyzer allows us to see audio distortion within the system. We also have a polarity checking tool that can allow us to check each speaker's polarity. For this, you must be connected to the auxiliary input of your system so that the Apple device can send a speaker popping signal to the speakers. In my DSP software, I left the mid-speaker polarity correct, but I changed the tweeter. Then, just to make sure that this worked correctly, I changed the mid-range polarity and then I changed the tweeter back. The SA4100i correctly identified the polarity of each speaker. This is important because you want to make sure that all speakers in a system are at the same polarity before you start tuning. Finally, the microphone also allows us to measure the SPL or sound pressure level of our audio equipment up to 120 decibels. So let's do some tuning. 
Now keep in mind an RTA is meant to be used primarily with an equalizer that is incorporated into your system. The equalizer may be part of your digital signal processor, it might be in your head unit radio, or it might be its own standalone equalizer. What the equalizer will do is it allows us to control the output of different frequency ranges and we can adjust them as we see fit on the RTA. For tuning, I adjust one single speaker at a time, and I start with one of my tweeters. What's nice is I can click on the screen of the RTA to see which frequency is which. I always start with cutting the highest frequencies. Stay away from boosting the signal as it can create distortion, and if you must boost, it should be done in no more than 3 decibels. I continue this adjustment process until I have a response that matches my target response. A common misconception about RTAs is that you use them to make everything flat. In reality, they are used to tune the system to your preferences. I like a warmer sound, so I'm using a target response that rolls off the highs, so that they don't melt my ears. I repeat this process for the other side tweeter and make sure that the output is the same and that the response matches. Next, I can turn on just a mid-range speaker in my DSP software and then proceed with tuning that speaker. I once again tune to get a target response, this time something with a little bit more mid-bass. Now take note that there's a dip right here. This is what we call a null. No matter how much I boosted this frequency, I couldn't raise the output on one speaker. So what I do is I match the other side speaker. This way, when sound occurs at that frequency, it is at the same output left and right side, so it still creates a center image. Once both mid-range speakers are tuned and level matched, I turn on both the tweeters and both mid-ranges. This allows me to see that my tweeters are overpowering my mids, so I can decrease the overall level of the tweeters until it matches more smoothly. Now you have an idea how we can use the SA4100i to tune our system. Overall, the SA4100i presents a great value to both hobbyists and professionals. Not only is this microphone accurate and easy to use, it allows us to check speaker polarity as well as sound levels. Now audio control was super cool and wanted to offer a special deal to fans of my videos in order to sweeten the deal even more. Down in the video description, I have details for a special limited time discount code. Be sure to let Audio Control know that Car Audio Fab sent you. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, I have car audio tutorial and review videos new every Monday. Be sure to subscribe so you're notified when I release these new videos. Also, a special thanks goes out to Brian, Emmanuel, Ali, EJ, Rory, Eddie, Truman, and Jerry, along with the rest of the Patreon support team. Thank you guys for supporting my videos. Thank you again for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, you can click one of my other videos over here. Thanks again for watching.